<laughs> hey. Anything useful around here? Hey. ありがとうな。
Damn, that's good. Hey, Namba. You come here straight from work? Yeah. Uh, I've been on my feet all day, so this is just what the doctor ordered. Bartender, another round. On me. <laughs> well, you've certainly moved up in the world. How have you been holding up, Sachan? The club's still running? Running like it's on its last legs. All things considered, though, I guess you could say we'll survive. Well, that's good. One thing's for sure. I won't let everything Nono Mia worked for go to waste. Mm. Someday, it'll be the hottest club in all of Yokohama. You guys are welcome to visit any time, you know. <laughs> sure. Just don't go up charging us, huh? You know that's not how I do business. And if it was, you bums couldn't pay up anyway. <laughs> she ain't lying. Beer's here. <laughs> oh, 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 right on time, boss man. <laughs> Tonight, I say we get plastered. <laughs> Just so long as you don't end up on the floor. Yeah. All right. Then what say we have another toast? Cheers! <laughs> So, Xiao said he couldn't make it, huh? Yeah, same with Junki Han. Man, what gives? This is our first time grabbing beers in six months. Ah, oh, they're just looking out for us. They're still part of the underworld, so they can't exactly pal around all the time, you know? It really is a shame, though. Yeah, either way, Kasi is right. We were living in two different worlds that just aren't meant to cross paths. Especially if we want to keep these new lives we've built for ourselves. Plus, it's not like we'll never see them again. It's like they say, no news is good news. Yeah. So, how's everyone been holding up? Still keeping at it with Arakawa-san's parting gift? Well, I got a long road ahead, but I'm chipping away. Adachi-san's already helped out a ton. <laughs> You're telling me, Rinky Dink op like mine can't just pull jobs out of thin air. No, really, I'm grateful. Ah, I'm just ribbing you. You're doing great, pal. <laughs> Not that you're any richer for it. <laughs> you never change, do you? Nope. But in a way, that's what makes him cool. Oh, <laughs> you think? <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna use the restroom. Uh, the restroom's unlocked, right? Well, how are things going with Sachan, huh? Huh? You two, uh, got on a date yet? Wait, what, what are you talking about? Uh, that settles it. He hasn't done squat. Oh, you know, I figured you might be too busy to date, but I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> what a bust. Hey, hold up. What's with you? Kasuga, you got a thing for Sachan, right? I... Uh, well... Uh, like we wouldn't find out. Your face says it all. Don't tell me you didn't notice all that extra space we've been giving you. You what? Well, don't worry about all that. The important thing is, if you're gonna make a move, now's the time, huh? You're both living pretty stable lives at this point. You ought to be able to think about stuff like that now. Yeah, but... Hey, you can make excuses all you want, but that won't help if someone else swoops her up, will it? I'm sure Sachan's got a few deep-pocketed regulars here and there. You might have more competition than you think, huh? Well... <sighs> I'm no good with that kind of stuff, though. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> yeah, let's just hope Sasaki doesn't see you like this. But seriously, you should ask her out when we leave here tonight. Something like, you want to hang out together, just the two of us? That's enough for now. Hey, good thinking, Itachi-san. Guess a veteran knows best. <laughs> What now, Adachi-san? Got some new scheme in the works? 
<laughs> I might. Oh yeah, Sachan. The other day... You all right, Namba? We're zigzagging. All right. Easy. I'll go with you. I gotta head to the station either way. No, I'm fine. Honest. Maybe on the inside. All right. We'll see you later. Let's do this again sometime, huh? <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> see you around. You got one life, pal. Aim true, fire away. A dodgy son. Come on, Namba, let's roll. Hey, hey, slow down. You think we'll be all right? <laughs> oh well. Guess I should go too. See you later, Ichiban. Uh, Sachan! Hmm? Um, nothing. Come on, spit it out. No, uh, forget I said anything. <sighs> okay. Well, good night. Sachan! Ichiban, seriously, what's gotten into you? Sorry. Listen. Do you maybe, um. Uh, Want to hang out sometime? Huh? <laughs> what? You already planning our next get-together? <sighs> we decided to do the next one at my club, remember? Uh, no, uh, not like that. I mean, just us. You know, like, together. I'm sorry. It was rude of me to spring that on you like that. You know, I'm free next Saturday. Uh, uh huh? We're gonna hang out, right? Just the two of us? Uh, wait, you mean... I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> anyway, see ya.
No shit! And she really said yes? Good for you. She's a hell of a girl. So why do you look so down? Well, it's just... I was locked up from the time I turned 24. I don't have much experience dating. Especially not with a grown woman like Sachon. Oh, are you that nervous? Hey, end of the day, dates come and go. No need to stress out. But uh, what if it all goes to hell and we never recover from it? But what if she never wants to see me again? Don't forget it, I'm calling the whole thing off. And she'll definitely hate you if you cancel on her now. What am I supposed to do? Where do we go? What, what do we eat? What do we talk about? I've never thought about this stuff before. <laughs> all right, now, take a breath. Leave all that to the experts. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got this. Wait, can you two really help me out here? Sure. Who's got more experience than us? But this is your big chance, after all. We're gonna help you make the most of it. You guys... Teach me your ways! Okay, let's get started then. What is first when it comes to date prep? Easy. Before you do anything else, relax. Dates are nothing but people getting to know each other. It's all just human nature. Act natural. I guess that makes sense. Human nature. What? No, that's not it. Huh? But, um, a woman's not looking to just chew the fat on a date. You want to woo her. Give her a night she'll remember. Forget acting natural. You stay sharp and be the perfect version of yourself. Okay, right. I need to make everything special. Uh, but how do I do that while acting natural, like Namba said? Look, I'm the most experienced here, yeah? Just listen to what I tell you. Oh, hell no. The only thing that does you sound more experienced in is paying for it. Uh, you little... Look, exactly how many girls did you take back to the old cardboard box, huh? Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Uh, guys? Uh, it's this room. That's too hard to think in here. Let's hit the town. That'll get Namba and me inspired, yeah? Of course, as to which of us you listen to, well... You can make that call. Good idea. I'll show you just how to win a woman's heart. Let's go. Okay. I, uh, I appreciate it. So, um, what are we doing here? Shh, 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 Kasuga. Class is in session. Uh, what? Lesson one in the art of love. Waiting. Waiting for what? Listen up. The date's begun the moment you reach the meeting spot and assume position. It is vital to arrive ahead of time by an hour, maybe two. And then you wait like a man. Remember, when the girl arrives, she's going to take one look at you and register a full impression. That impression doesn't wash off. It can take years to fix. I get it. First impressions, yeah? Makes sense. I have to admit he's right. So, show us how you'll wait for Sacha. Okay, sure. Wait, what do you mean? I'll just, you know, stand? No, too stiff. Every fiber of your body looks nervous. You want Sacha to feel at ease. Oh, crap, really? Uh, then, uh, how should I stand? Who said anything about standing? Hey, why don't you park yourself on that bench there? Maybe even doze off a bit. Uh, what? You want me to fall asleep while I'm waiting? What did I say earlier? Dates should be natural. Now listen, who in the world has seen your sleeping face besides people you trust and have opened up to? Uh, my cellmates, maybe? Forget about all that. The point is for Sachan to think, Wow! Ichi must feel so comfortable with me. Oh, and he looks like a precious puppy when he's shooting. She'll want to protect you. 
Are you sure about this man? What do you think, Adachi-san? Dozing off on a park bench? Huge mistake. What do we say before? A girl wants to feel special. That all starts with your posture. How do you make someone feel special with your posture? Remember the rule. 30 minutes early, at least, that you stand silent like a statue. Don't look around. Just hold your gaze firmly in the direction she'll be coming from. When Sachan shows up and gets a load of that, she'll be putty in your hands. Ichiban! She'll think. I've never noticed how manly and passionate he seems. Get it? Okay, yeah. Maybe it'd be good to show her that side of me. Whatever. Ichi, you can't do both. Which of our strategies are you going with here? Oh, I have to choose. Gotta trust Adachi-san. I'll stand and wait for her. Huh? Why? Because, well, if I got there and saw Sachan sleeping on a bench, I'd figure she was exhausted. I'd worry the whole time that she's too tired to enjoy the date. Huh. Ah, I guess that makes sense. That, my friend, is why you stand firm. You're a proud soldier on your way to win the war. Um, I don't know if that's really how I want to imagine this state, but I, I admit I didn't get just how much my posture would matter. I'll be sure not to look tired or sloppy. Thanks. All right, all right. You take this one, Adachi san. But we're not done yet. Come along. Heart of Love, Lesson 2. Location, location, location. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Someplace fancy we can go. Huh? Fancy? Yeah, a date should be special, that's what you said. So like, a nice Italian or French restaurant? Oh, yes, jeez. You guys are kidding me. A fancy restaurant? Oh, Ichiban, it's like you're studying some kind of date manual. Exactly. It's too obvious. You'll make her feel like you're running on autopilot. Kasuga, you need a spot that says you picked it just for her. Someplace just for her, huh? Like what? Like, uh... Ooh, Indian curry. A curry place? Not just any curry place. That one has a secret menu. You can order a curry there, spice level 100. That's 1.2 million on the Scoville scale. 500 times spicier than Tabasco. 500 times spicier? Yep. Even the most spice-hardened bastards run from those numbers. No one's ever finished a whole bowl. Now you tell me, what'll Sachan think when you conquer that beast right before her eyes? I'm not that into spicy food, man. Moron! That makes it even better! Suffer for her! Let her see you wiping the sweat from your brow! It's the struggle that's sexy! Oh, she'll be buddy in your hands! Really? Idiot! What happens when the curry wins? You'll just be a quivering, snotty mess! Ooh, that's true. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Act natural. Don't be someone you're not. Don't trip over yourself finding somewhere new. Go somewhere you always go. Maybe, but for me, that's mostly just beef bowl places. Well, have some beef bowls. Come on, what? A beef bowl date? You think it's against the law or something? All that matters is that you stay relaxed. And right now, that means beef bowls. It's true, I guess. I would be nervous heading to some Italian or French place. Dumbass! Beef bowls don't win hearts. Show her you're a champ. Spice level 100. Are my only options really beef bowls or the hottest curry on earth? Or you could always just give up, wallow in indecision, grow old and alone. Make a choice. Uh, seriously? Uh, fine. I've got to choose, then... 
Then it's the beef bowls, yes. What? Beef bowls on a date? You lose your mind? I know it's not perfect, but I keep thinking of Sajan sitting in silence while I tackle that curry. But she's, you, you know, watching you with pride. She's in awe of your, your bravery. Uh, does that sound like Sachan to you? Am I taking her out just to perform for her? Of course you are. It's about impressing her. Maybe, but isn't the whole point of a date to talk with each other? I'd rather do that over dinner than win some food challenge. Well, uh, <laughs> you got it. The lesson behind the lesson. <laughs> Precisely, Ichiban. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, and uh, that means beef bowls are out of the question too, right? They might help me relax, but it wouldn't be that special for Sachan. Guess I've just got to find a spot we'll both like. Uh, yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah, now you get it. You saw through my trick and realized the true lesson underneath. You know, he's really not that clueless. Well, you're right. Maybe all he's actually missing is confidence. Gotta say, I, I wasn't sure about this before, but you guys really do have me feeling readier for this date. So, what's next? <laughs> right, and it's time for the final lesson. Here we are then, the final course in the art of love. Oh, okay. I think I see what's coming. Give it to me. What's wrong with how I dress? I mean, this suit's natural, isn't it? Uh, far from it, I'm afraid to say. Highly unnatural. How? Is that a natural fabric color? Remember, we're after human nature here. Try something like this. This is a date outfit? Doesn't look that stylish. Nothing's more stylish than au naturel. What's trendier these days than an organic lifestyle? These clothes, they're pure cotton and hemp, not an ounce of artificial color. An environmentally friendly ensemble. I get it. It's another way of keeping things natural. But Sachan, it won't it surprise her? I mean, she's never seen me dress this way. Stop worrying. The call of nature affects everyone. Sachan will know on a primal level that this is sexy. Don't you see? It's written in our very souls to love those who love nature. Oh, uh, really though? Look, I get the value of being environmentally conscious, but... Hey, come on, quit humoring this whack job, Kasuga. You're trying to win a girl's heart, not save the whales. Cosplaying as some kind of burlap beatnik isn't about to make Sachan go gaga for you. Okay, Adachi-san, what do you recommend? Aha! Feast your eyes on this masterpiece of sartorial seduction. Holy shit! You don't think this is a little too flashy? Kasuga! Why does the firefly illuminate in the darkness? What? It's the male's method of courtship, obviously. Dazzling your beloved, captivating them. It's an instinct every living thing on Earth shares. Obey your instincts, Kasuga. Light up her life, and Sachan will be putty in your hands. Whoa! Oh, when you put it like that, this suit is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yep. Now, don't you want to show up in that instead of Namba's crap bag? Damn, you're right. We've got to choose again. We both made good points. It's all right, Ichiban. Just go with your heart. Okay, I will. I'm wearing this one. Adachi-san, it's yours. I know that human nature is important, but... Special occasions demand special action, don't they? <laughs> all right. I've said all I have to say. Give it your all. Make it one for the history books. Damn straight. We got you as far as we can get you. Now it's up to you, Kasuga. 
You two, watch. I'll make you proud. to the next level. What do you mean? I'm not going to be able to Cool. Stand the 
Next level. 